Hey everybody, the Super Vader for 100 here, back for another retro review, and this time I'm reviewing the Double Dragon animated series, which was produced by Dick Entertainment and aired from 1993 till 1994, and is based on the Double Dragon video game franchise. I'm a huge fan of the Double Dragon video game, huge fan of the Double Dragon franchise. I first saw this series back in the... I first saw this series back in the 90s and early 2000s on VHS. VHS, and I must say I love this cartoon. I think it's I think it's criminally underrated and way better than most people give it um credit for. Most people, of course, don't like the pretty much don't like the American adaptations of Double Dragon because they took several liberties with the established video games backstory game canon okay with that being said despite all that i thought this cartoon was really um was really awesome the video the double dragon video games were usually about two brothers billy and jimmy lee billy and jimmy lee in a post-apocalyptic world fighting a series of gangs including the black dragon gang who kidnapped mary and their their um their girlfriend by punching her in the stomach and um and um carrying her off and the the Lee brothers have to go rescue her. Um the first episode of the animated series is loosely based on the NES version of Double of Double Dragon. In the backstory of the NES version of Double Dragon, Billy Lee is raised to fight for justice and Jimmy Lee is raised to fight for evil. Um, in the um, cartoon, Billy Lee is raised by a guy named the Older Dragon to fight for justice, to fight for honor and justice. Um, um, Jimmy Lee is raised by a mysterious figure called the Shadow Master, who is the main antagonist of the series, to fight for evil. Just like in the game, Billy Lee fights jimmy lee on the first level on the first level of the game then jimmy lee reforms and the, the game continues from there in um the cartoon same thing billy lee billy lee has billy lee has two confrontations with jimmy lee and after after the second confrontation when when both of them get captured when both of them get captured, Jimmy Lee is betrayed and Billy Lee saves his life and Jimmy Lee goes straight and they become they become the Dragon Warriors. And after this episode, this show deviates from Double Dragon and becomes a Saint Seiya, Fist of the North Star, Power Ranger, and Ronin Warriors, aka Samurai Trooper, Young Samurai Troopers type show like power rangers ronin warriors and saint seiya they have they have mystical weapons mystical weapons and um armor like fist of the north star fist of the north star the main character it, it is set in a dystopian future and post-apocalyptic world and the main character billy lee looks just like kenshiro which is another reason i love this show it's like a kid's version of fist of the north star and all those shows i just um named it's this show is also very similar to shows like X-Men because the characters according to uh, the characters according to Wikipedia are described as mutants which explains their um strength and teenage mutant and teenage mutant ninja turtles and teenage mutant turtles because the characters are described as mutants and the show focuses a lot great deal on uh martial arts of course um I, and, I, and I enjoy mostly all of that. The show, despite being corny, campy, and cheesy at times, has strong writing, has strong writing, um, superb, superb voice, superb voice acting, even though the dialogue is a little corny, at the dialogue and, um, PCAs are a little corny at times, um, but yeah, you have s superb voice acting, you have the awesome voice acting of, Michael Donovan as Billy Lee, um, and, um, Billy Lee and the legendary Scott McNeil as Jimmy, 
Lee. I even heard even Gary Chalk. I heard Gary Chalk twice in this series. He appears as the mayor of Metro City, which is the show setting in the first episode. And um, he voices one of the Dragon Warriors, which I'm about to get to next. S Tsunami. Also, like I said, in various episodes, they meet other they meet um other characters and they form a group. They form a fighting um squad called the Dragon Warriors. Um, a few of the Dragon Warriors are a woman named um I think her name was um I think her I think her name was um what was her name what was her name I think oh yeah I think her name was I think her name was Su Yin. I think her name was Su. Anyway, she yeah yeah Su yeah Su Lin. She called herself the mistress of Chi and had the power to, to use um had the power to use um Chi and um and her student a guy named I think her guy I think his name was Kona who transform who who is similar to E Honda. He transforms into a large. He transforms into a warrior named Tsunami. There's another guy named Colonel Mac. Neil McReady, who reminds me of Jax, who called, his name is Colonel Neil McReady, but he calls himself Blaster, his code name is Blaster, he reminds me of Jax from Mortal Kombat, Combo from Killer Instinct, and, um, a character named Blade from a Sega Genesis fighting game called Eternal Champions, um, then there's, um, then there's Vortex, a guy who does who does all kinds of moves with his legs all kinds of moves with his legs called yeah his name is vortex yeah there's so many i just named a few who who of course were my favorites tsunami blaster tsunami blaster and um suin are are my favorites of the um dragon warriors they also have the they also have the junior dragon warriors because just like in the game billy lee and jimmy lee they run a dragon um dojo and um and um one of the kids who trains one of the, the most the most notable kid who trains there at the dojo is a little black guy named Michael. But um but yeah, and of course there's Marion who in this series in the game she was a damsel in distress. In this series she's a cop who helps the Lee brothers fight um fight um fight fight um crime in Metro City. I think I like her better here than she is in the game. That's just me. Um, like I'm saying, yes. The then going back to the going back to talking about the show. The, I love the animation is superb. The character designs, of artwork are phenomenal. It looks just like um, Fist of the North Star, and just everything is good. Everything is good. Everything is good. And it sucks. This show is um like most of those shows in the 90s, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Mega Man, it sucks all these shows were, for some odd reasons, for several reasons, were canceled, because, um, this show was, um, this show was, this show was epic, and I'm surprised how good it is, um, for a dick, for a dick entertainment cartoon, way better than that Captain N cartoon they, they had, and that Battletoads cartoon pilot they had which was so bad that didn't even become a cartoon but um yeah I didn't see anyone else reviewing this on the internet so I decided to um review the double dragon um cartoon I'll do a video talking about my favorite episodes moments and scenes from this um show later but right now the super vader 400 out I'm done. I'll review Double Dragon the movie later. Super Vader 400, out.